Welcome back to part 5 of the Understanding the Games coverage of Game Developers Knockout 2024. We're currently in round 2, we've covered a lot of the games already, and we're hoping to cover off the last couple before hopefully I join the others moving on to round 3 and covering from there. Tonight we're going to be starting with the entry of last round's winner, Leo Lim, A Whale's Cry, and we're going to be thrown into the depths of the ocean. Round 2's focus is sound and audio, where audio cues are vital to gameplay. Scraper Black Gold. Whoa. <laughs> What's going on? Alright. Cool. So we've come down in the spaceship, launch ship G. Oh, it's broken. Okay, what have we got here? Q. Okay. Find the oil field, fill the audio log. Find the lock chest, acquire the pickaxe from the chest, mine 25 iron, build oil rig from oil field, launch spaceship. That's quite a list. Alright, so we've got the quest there, we've got C, crafting menu, oil rig. Alright, so we just have a bit of an explore. Oh. 
Okay, right click. It's building me a path. It felt like the thing was over here somewhere. quest out again. Find the audio log. Okay, so I've got some other things to find. Okay, I guess. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Seems like it's over there. Okay, found the oil field. Cool. That's for the chest. Um, Q, no, T. There's lots of little sub menus. Um, I'll just see if there's anything else around. I'm not sure there is, but let's just try the chest. I'd like to film this picture. was fun um, as I figured it out but as you can see like I'm a bit tone deaf obviously <laughs> and I um, really struggled with getting my pickaxe. Uh, I would have liked to have uh, saved the ship. Um, I might go back and give it another go um, but for now I'm defeated. Um, solid audio cues, um, good fun um, and of course that was Scraper Black Gold uh, by Ariel 301. Alright, so um, next up we've got Super Sneaky Steven Act 1, Skullduggery's Soup and Cereal Scandal. Um, I have given this a few guys and I tried to record it for my other video, but I found it uh, tough. <laughs> Sneak Steven past mum and dad to his room at the end of the hall. Be sneaky like a shadow and don't make a sound or be seen. Now I'm just going to give it one decent effort. Um, because I failed many times and was quite frustrated. Now I do like the art style, but I don't like that that's dad's head and he's looking at the kitchen, but that little look sensor like flips around and uh, gets you. When I first played it I thought it was like a shadow from a fan or something, and then I realized it was a little look sensor. Um, now Steven's got these little pips underneath them, and they're basically your lives. Um, well, sound-wise, your lives. Um, if you get seen, you're, you're done for. Um, but when you walk standing up, they um, go down faster. And even when you tap it and sneak super sneakily, um, sometimes it jumps down a little. Now I believe the table's a nice solid block where he can't see you. So again I've learned that the hard way through uh, quite a few tries. And just recently I found there's a checkpoint over here so I'm just tapping the movement button and ducking uh, to get here. And I'm not sure that, that might be mum there because 
in this room here. Oh. How did you? Oh, thank God I made the checkpoint. I maybe need a little bit more grace there, uh, Patty. Uh, now again, this room's got a couple of sensors. I have seen it before. I'll just wait for this one to go back around again. Oh, what? Alright, I'm tempted to run it. I should show you what happens when he runs it. It doesn't work very well for Steven. Alright, let's just try and be patient. <laughs> Alright, in the interest of uh, <laughs> viewing, um, I'll stop there. Um, I may endeavour to make it because I know there's just a whole way after there. Um, audio cues... Maybe not. Maybe not so much audio cues because it's all kind of look senses. It's definitely about sound and making sound. Um, Well, that's interesting, I hadn't really thought about the audio cue, but it's really hard, which would make me feel that a game like this, I'd want a scoreboard to know how good I am, because it's a, a, a real challenge. Now, it's possible that all this other sound does affect how um, likely you are to get noticed. I just haven't really picked up on it, and that could well be the audio cues. Maybe you get a, a bit of more grace when there's some loud noises going on. Either way, a very challenging little game. Um, if you beat it, you're a better person than me. <laughs> Alright, um, so next up we have Free Me um, by Samagana. Now I have given this a um, go before, and it was pretty cool. Um, as far as the environment goes, I met this uh, creature, but I wasn't able to put him down. Um, so it's a nice uh, 3D game. Reminds me of, uh, well, like a lot of kind of dungeon crawlers. It does have some kind of ambient kind of sound cues. Um, but from what I can tell, they're not particularly leading me anywhere. Um, it's got standard kind of first person controls, shift to run. So I'm doing a bit of that. And then it must have some stamina because it kind of runs out at a time. Jump up there. I did test it out a little with the fire. Human torch. Alright. Then around here, a bit of an encounter down here. haven't managed to master this bit. You must destroy the monster in order to get your reward. Let the light do its work. So obviously we've got some candles. Clicking on them does nothing. We've got some rocks here at long last. So when you stand on the rocks you can give them a bit of a throw with the left button. Oh. He seems to be sound sensitive. But I'm not exactly sure how to beat him. I've been here before throwing rocks at this dude. He just kind of wanders around. Uh, the clue kind of makes me want to lead him to the candles, if indeed the the rocks are leading him to places. Oh, they seem to be, so this is the audio cue bit. But then, I mean, I can't see a life bar or anything, and although he's falling over a bit awkwardly, I don't know exactly what he's got going on. So he's hit all three candles at this point. Uh, 
I'm not too sure exactly what else to do. I mean, it's fun throwing rocks at him, don't get me wrong. Alright, um, next up we will... Hmm, Void Synth or Xenon EX. Let's do Xenon EX by Greyer. Let's see, so heading on in. This game is a recreation of a dream I had. The controls are listed in the game, cool. Alright. This text. <laughs> Talk with the full screen. You'll need to decipher a code on the grid. Look around, moving your mouse. Walk towards the grid. Square when the static is the loudest. Crank the clock's dial. Left click, right click, or Q and E until a number is available. Once you know the current number, press the boxes button, middle button, or spacebar to move to the next one. Enter the five digit code in the lock. <laughs> kind of. Let's see. two sectors. Four, four, four. Six, six, four. <laughs> oh, it feels nice to make it in. I've watched a few videos which kind of helped me get the gist of it a little bit, uh, but even if I didn't, I would have been able to figure it out. Um, my first time actually playing it, uh, definitely audio centric. Uh, it's an interesting dream. I'd like to know uh, what happened at the end. So the buzzsaw, like <laughs> whether it kills you or like how you, what's going on. Um, very interesting. 
and I, I felt really rewarding when you found the, the bits and pieces, so the nice solid game. Actually, yeah, it puts me in the mood to play another one. Alright, here we go. Okay, you move with WSD and Shift key. You change view with caps lock, and with middle mouse button you can cycle items position. You can place items on the ground, but only if they are in right position. You can now follow the music now. Okay, you move with WSD and Shift key. You change view with caps lock, and with middle mouse button you can cycle items position. You can place items on the ground, but only if they are in right position. You can now follow the music now. Okay, you move with WSD and Shift key. You change view with caps lock, and with middle mouse button you can cycle items position. You can place items on the ground, but only if they are in right position. You can now follow the music now. What music? Okay, you move with WSD and Shift key. You change view with caps lock, and with middle mouse button you can cycle items position. You can place items on the ground, but only if they are in right position. You can now follow the music now. Change view with caps lock, and with middle mouse button you can cycle items position. You can place items on the ground, but only if they are in right position. I feel pretty bad I couldn't get it running. My uh, computer just really doesn't seem to like the downloaded executables. I think it must have uh, sabotaged a little. Um, it was a little bit, presuming that it was working, I didn't really know exactly what I was doing, and there wasn't much um, to help me understand. Um, I have seen other people play, and I've seen like the long form whole game, and there's a lot to it. So it's a little bit upsetting. I didn't get to uh, go further. Um, I would have liked to. Um, so probably like um, if you check out some of the other guys' streams, like. Uh, I've seen people play it the whole way through. Uh, so that's Void Synth uh, by Nuka OS. Alright, one more for the evening. Uh, we're going to play Melovania by Brainfight Studios. Embark on a journey into Melovania. Melovania is a, a Metroidvania inspired puzzle platformer that challenges you to listen and puzzle solving skills. Can you crack the code and solve the puzzles and get on the leaderboard? Lots of people on the leaderboard. Just position it in the middle. Alright, so space. And then we've got the oh mouse for deafening.
that's hard to pick the note for me. Um, Sounds like the right one there, huh? Maybe that one? Oh! God This might take me a while. It's very nicely presented. It's uh, got really nice sounds. Um, it's got good platforming controls, interestingly. Um, another great entry. A good one to leave it for night. I'd like to join people on the scoreboard, uh, but I already think I'm <laughs> way off the board. Um, good game. All right, good night until next video. Peace.